folks here, Alex. I will be your um, newscaster or broadcaster for today. All right. I'm really happy because um, right now I've I have a lot of learnings. Okay. So I just want to share to you. I have read the news, and I really want to share this to you because it's really a good news, and you will learn a lot from him. Okay. Him. Who am I talking about? Do you know who was the co-founder of Bitstamp? His name is Damian Merlek. So he was interviewed, okay, because from a thousand years to over one hundred million, okay. Now, this um, news is an interview with Damian Merlek, the co-founder of Bitstamp, and I really want to share this news to you because we can learn a lot from him, guys. So I hope that you are ready to listen. So whatever you're doing right now, make sure to listen and understand, and we can all learn and be happy, right? Okay. So for for first time viewers, guys, please subscribe to our channel. This is EO's Marketplace News, and if you if you like to comment on the video or about the article, um, you are free to comment down below. All right. So let's start. So for today's news, again, this is brought to us by PCN and Preferred Currency News. If you want to check out the news yourself, you can visit PCN dot today. All right. Now, from a thousand euros to over one hundred million, an interview with Damian Merle, co-founder of Bitstam. All right. Here, young people often dream about how to get rich quick. Are you? I really am. Okay, but according to a 31-year-old Slovenian millionaire, Damian Merlek, there is no shortcut, and sometimes you also need luck. Yes, really. Okay, Merlek is a co-founder of Bitstamp Exchange, Tokens.net, Crypto to Crypto Exchange, and Quantum Project. He's also in the thirty-seventh place on the rankings of the most influential Slovenians and the country's youngest millionaire. Wow! I really want to meet him, guys. Okay, now seven years ago, Damian Merle bought his first bitcoins for about two dollars each. He doesn't have any. Ah,、uh, he doesn't have those bitcoins today anymore. Practically nobody who bought bitcoins for a couple of dollars each hasn't kept them until today. Perhaps only someone who forgot he owns them. Right. With those words, the myth of millionaires who spend a few hundred dollars for the initial purchase of bitcoins was broke down. The first step on the road to his own fortune was mining bitcoins. More than seven years ago, he entered a specialized shop in Kranj, Slovenia, and ordered the two newest, most powerful graphics cards, which he wanted to connect with the slowest processor and worst memory card, or what we call RAM. Now all the PC specialists were confused. What are you going to do with such a computer? Asked Ned Krod、um, Krodik, the owner of the mansion shop, and was quickly infected by Merlek's enthusiasm over bitcoins. Last 2011, they were hanging out and debating about the crypto world, which soon turned into business cooperation when they found the Bitstamp exchange. They received. Ten million dollars in startup funding to develop their idea. At that time, there was、M、Mt. Gox, a Japanese exchange platform, which offered a poor user experience. Getting money to Mt. Gox and getting it out was very difficult, as well as completing orders for sales and purchases. The user platform was dull and useful only for technically trained people. According to publicly available data, they calculated that Ma,、uh, Mount Gox was earning ten thousand dollars a day from commissions. So we calculated that if we're bad as they are, we can earn ten thousand dollars a day. <laughs> right? I really want to meet this man because. As I was just reading this news, guys, I just want to share this one. 
I learned a lot from him. Like I'm really inspired to, you know, to to earn more and to get there. Right? You know what I'm talking about. Now, in the meantime, many exchange platforms including Mt. Gox did not integrate well and did not succeed. But Bitstamp remains one of the largest crypto exchanges in the world. It has its headquarters in Luxembourg and offices in New York, London, and Slovenia, where its center of development also is. Uh, is. More than um, 100 people are employed at Bitstamp, while Merlec and Caldrick, each of them were more than $100 million of assets land in the group of most rich, rich and influential Slovenians from crypto startups to farms. Now, Dam Damien Merlick considers himself to be a serial entrepreneur. Wow, what, what such name. And in order to pursue all of his business ambitions, he resigned from the executive position in Bitstamp, but he remains a 32% owner and a member of the supervisory board. He got into some of his projects through the issuance of crypto coins or ICO's initial coin offerings, the quantum project based on this idea, which offers trading strategies collected, collected him 4.12 million dollars. Wow. With a tokens.net project, which is a crypto to crypto exchange, he raised an amount of 15 million dollars through an ICO. In addition to crypto enterprises, Merlock also focuses on more tangible things. He owns a farm which has 1,100 living animals, lots. All right. He also owns a veterinary clinic and a retail store with textile products, as well as several real estate properties. Let's dive deeper into the man behind Bitstamp and find out how he got to where he is today. Okay, guys, this is the time that you listen carefully. Okay, these are the questions and his answers. All right. Can you give us a quick introduction to your background? How did you get where you are today and what does your company do? <coughs> Here, a colleague with whom we work on projects told me about Bitcoin last 2011. When I checked the subject on the internet, I first said that I was not interested. At that time, the price was about $2. Two months later, I accidentally caught the price of it between $15 and $20. This difference aroused the interest in me. Then Bitcoin fell again and I started buying. I was also interested in technology and the system that runs the background. I started to participate in the forums. First, I was only buying bitcoins. Then I saw an opportunity in mining them. I went to a classmate and ordered graphic cards and everything that was needed to mine bitcoins. The thing started to interest him, but his brother, Nedge Quadric, was blown away too and soon started to explore the topic. And within some time, we together formed the idea of Bitstamp. At the moment, there is a large assortment of crypto exchanges around the world, and Bitstamp is one of the largest, and it is the only licensed company in Luxembourg. On our exchange, not only individuals but also institutional clients can buy and sell crypto coins. A fund or an investment bank can operate in an art unregulated entity or with a monkey business as I call it. Bitstamp maintains the strategy of the fiat to crypto exchange and vice versa. We have a large array of new virtual currencies and projects that are funded through ICOs. I think that these supporters need to provide adequate infrastructure, so I decided to establish tokens.net. The exchange platforms are complementary to the activity and services they offer. Right. So when did you make your first million? Can you remember the first thing you bought? It was in 2013. I was 27 years old. When I earned the first million, I bought a car, a Tesla Model S. I invested the rest in my business. Wow, a Tesla Model. That's a good car. Did your life change when you become a millionaire? Millionaire? 
How so? Have you gotten many new friends? Alright, not really. I might have lost some. I do not think the money changed me. I think the information and insight into the system at first and have changed me. Now I know a lot of things that I did not I did not know before. That's why I respond differently to things that are happening around me. <coughs> Excuse me. Probably your friends, acquaintances and colleagues ask you how to make er quick earnings. What do you answer them? I avoid <coughs> giving financial advice. You don't gain anything from it. Just a problem when the market reverses and people only really like the green numbers. Do you know how much more a 10% loss hurts compared to the sweetness given to you from a really good 10% profit? Alright, would you say that investing in crypto is like gambling? Of course, there are risks. I advise people who invest to learn about the technology itself, what it offers and what its weaknesses are. Many will burn, many have already. I also suggest that people invest in the largest, incredible, uh, credible coins and don't see quick benefits in various schemes that someone sells door to door. The most important thing is to invest when the value is low and not when it reaches its all-time high. Right. It is the same as stocks of Tesla, Twitter, Snapchat, and various. The average daily volatility of Bitcoin is mostly 3%. Let's leave aside the crypto bubble, which was created in December of the previous year. That can be compared with many technological stocks on the U.S. stock exchange market, NASDAQ. Investing in tokens or ICOs is actually investing in startups. Profits can be huge, but the successes will be rare. Right, so it's really with luck, right? Have you been lucky entering the crypto world? Seven years ago, I was firmly convinced, and that is why I also invested all my thousand euros of savings in Bitcoin. If only then I had more savings. <laughs> or okay, now, many crypto millionaire millionaires are moving their crypto money to real estate, from virtual to physical, including yourself. Why is this a good idea? Simply, the fortune has to be dispersed. The majority of my properties are linked to the success of the cryptocurrencies, and it makes sense to bring some of it to a bigger range in some other fields. Where else do you have your money invested? Shares in stocks of U.S. companies, real estate for tourism, private companies with a good cash flow. I have a farm with 1,100 living animals. I plan to build a boutique hotel. Due to great growth, my shares make me apprehensive, so I protect them by buying options. What made you decide to buy shares? I have been trading with traditional shares for more than 10 years. That brought me to the world of cryptocurrencies. In recent years, I have been doing this with a distance mainly because of staying in touch with cryptocurrencies. I use the options because it's much easier to limit the risk with them and they also allow earnings in the form of premium on possible sales in short periods of time. So guys, we are getting a lot from him. We are learning a lot from him, right? Now, changes in crypto world are very fast. So do you get any sleep at all? Otherwise, it would not be fun. We'll deal with boring business in 20 years. <laughs> Where do you live and what does your work day look like? I live and work from home from my small house in Malta. I decided to cooperate with Maltese local financial companies and the country of Malta in new projects because it regulates and is open to possibility of licensing and dealing with cryptocurrencies. Moreover, winter is not really my favorite season and the Maltese climate was only an additional advantage in deciding. So you have enough to retire, why don't you do that? I'm already somewhere warm and I think I'll never really retire. I love doing the things I do and living the way I live and I can't imagine what my retirement will look like. What do your parents say about your success? They are proud. Did your parents help you financially with your entrepreneurial ventures? No. 
My fortune in life is that I come from a rather modest family, so I had to create everything by myself, which made me value my work even more. People who are born with everything tend to achieve less. Ah, oh, what advice do you have for people just starting out with a business or trying to make their fortunes? Um, it is necessary to perceive what is happening around you. If you are passive, things will pass you by. You have to be up to date with international flows and understand them. Expand your view. You have to set up a big, realistic, and with a little luck accessible goal. Try to work with companies from industries and activities of your own interest. Connect with them when you're educating yourself. If you create wealth slowly, you have a completely different perception of it. If you hit the lotto overnight, wealth can be a problem. But if you build a company and you don't earn anything in the first year, you might start paying your salary in the second one. The third year, you might reach some higher growth and start paying your salary as you always wanted. This is the organic, uh, the organic growth, personal growth that makes you understand money. After six years, Nedge and I agreed to have reached that point. So today, I have a healthy attitude towards money, which makes me have less true friends than I used to have years ago. Wow, really, I want to cry. I'm not being exaggerated right now, but really he really has a point guys right um you can start little by little and then you don't know if you have just the perseverance you have just the luck you have just the motivation to be successful then you can have it right so this is really a good video for everyone because i know we can learn a lot from it so guys that's it for today's news now i hope that um you will like this video and uh, some of my videos as well so don't forget don't forget to subscribe all right so guys and also please subscribe to our um preferred currency dot news all right it's just you can use paypal for a monthly recurring that's only 15 dollars per month fiat or you can use the coinbase option it's only 180 dollars annual subscription that's to be paid with crypto all right so guys don't forget to subscribe please 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 i will be posting the information on the information box below this video so please check it out and please don't forget to leave a comment all right so guys that's it for today's news this is alex once again and i hope to see you soon again goodbye and have a great day